Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we're gonna get into the uh, really exciting Pro Box card. I, I hope you'll watch. You can get it for a dollar ninety nine a month on um, on the app, or it's uh, I, I don't know what it is. It's it's free on YouTube. Um, you can on YouTube for free, or you can watch it on um, you can watch it on the app for a buck ninety nine with no commercials, nothing, nothing like that. Um, but we may have a hidden gem here for free. Uh, this looks like another kind of showbox x esque show uh, before we get into that please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog uh on all forms of social media uh please follow uh the other channel as well texas boxing see the old proceeds go to autism research and recovery um it's very near and dear to our heart so uh, please like share and subscribe as well all right please let's uh, let's get into today's show um 3d boxing uh <laughs> sorry, pro box tv card I mean, this is, you guys watch this? It's really electric card. In, 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 on the undercard, you had uh, the second time we see them, Najee Lopez, who's a Puerto Rican fighter who fights out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia now. Uh, he's 23 and all. He's 6 and 0. He fought Christian Fabian Rios in just his sixth pro fight. And I mean, I absolutely took him apart. Won every round, didn't stop him. But uh, this is a guy who's been in with Esquivo Falco. He's been with uh, Kieran Davis. He's been in. Uh, with David Lemieux, he he's been in with real fighters, and none of those guys have stopped either. He's only been stopped once in uh, 43 pro fights, so it, it was a step up and a gauge. And boy, did uh, Najee Lopez pass that! Um, he shot from the outside. You know, he tried picking up the pace a little bit, but never really slammed on the gas and went for the stoppage. Um, he's a real, a valid opponent. Um, he he won. All, Every round on every card, 60 to 54, and, and just put on a boxing demo. Slide under, make you miss, come back with a counter shot, lead with the jab, lead with the jab, faint. I mean, it was it was picturesque what we saw, saw from him today. It, it was a masterclass box performance. Then we go to the co-main event. And in the co-main event, I mean, you, you get one heck of a high-speed chess match. Um you know, again, not two fighters who we're overly familiar with. Uh, Darrell Velsaint and Lucas D'Abreu. Um, the, I, I thought Velsaint, uh I'm sorry, yeah, we, we, uh, I'm losing my brain here. I'm, I'm getting caught up here. I, I, I thought Velsaint won, Velsaint won a wide decision. I'm, I'm already skipping ahead to the main event, which ended in a draw. But really a high-speed chess match. Um I thought it was close. I thought it was probably even through four. And then Velsant um, kind of carried the last couple of rounds. And I, I think one of the judges had that with 50 56. The other two judges had it wider. Um, but, it, I mean, this was a great boxing match. I mean, it was two really good boxers. Um, Velsant's a guy to keep your eye on. And, and the guy he fought, uh, De Abreu, is, is a uh, – he's from Brazil, right? And he's a uh, – Joe DeGuardia, star boxing fighter, is good. It, it, a really high level match, um, really high IQ fight. Uh, you know, they'll say it closed it with decent volume and, and really sharp accuracy. He was countering really well. Um, I, again, I had this fight even through four, and uh, I had. They'll say it pulling out the last two rounds to make it four two, but a really really high level boxer and it's real Vel. Vel Vel Saint, a guy who's now seven fights into his career, is a guy we're going to be seeing again at a high class level. He's a tall, rangy southpaw, super middleweight, 168 pounder. Um, who, like I said, sharp, accurate skills, counters real nicely, throws in decent volume, throws in combinations, works off his jab. He's a good fighter. And then we got to the main event, which ended in, and, and this is what I was skipping ahead to, which ended um, in a draw. And look, the fight was really, really close. Um, I, I, I just it, it was so I'm not going to throw a major fit over it. 
but it's one of those fights where I feel like everyone had Van Sicklin winning the fight. He's landing the, the, the cleanest shots. He, you know, he, he was coming forward. He was aggressive in the first few rounds. You can see at about the midway point, they were both tiring. Uh, him and Manuel Gallegos. And Van Sicklin was, was countering well. He was going off the back foot. He was doing more things well. Um, I, I thought this fight is extremely close, and I'm not real upset about a draw. I, I just have a hard time seeing how Van Sicklin didn't win that fight. And not one judge scored it for me. He had two scored even, and the third judge scored it 96 84 for Gallegos. Again, I, I'm not disturbed by the decision. I just think they didn't really get it right either. I, I, I think there's really no way that he didn't win this fight, even though it's close. And they like say you can you can flip rounds and perhaps you can get it to a draw. Uh, it's just you know, if you watch the fight and you score it and you see, you know. Yeah, and Gallagher has a cast iron jaw. He he really did, and he was doing some good things in the ring. You know, I gave him the last round, but it, to me, it wasn't enough. I had enough two points going into the last round. And again, I, I what rounds do you want to flip here? Maybe the first, right? I mean, you can get it to a draw, but it just if you go back and watch the fight, um, it starts off as a slugfest. This fight's pretty even. You know, Gallagher was the, ripping body shots, big body shots. Um, but Van Sickle was winning, you know, Southpaw was winning the battle of the outside foot. And he was landing his, his right hook, Southpaw, with accuracy and authority. And it, I mean, but to credit to Gallagher, I mean, that, that, that jaw was, was, was cast iron. Um, and then second half of the fight, he starts working up the back foot, starts slipping in counters, countering real nicely, counting with accuracy. And it seemed like he did enough for me to win these rounds. I, I, I had ever so close 96, 94. Again, I'm not upset by the decision. I'm not. But it also seems like mm, they didn't get this 100% right. Like I, I think Van Sicklin won. What do you guys think? Did you guys think Van Sicklin won that fight? Uh, again, it, this is going to hurt because he needs to get a win over a guy like Gallegos. Now, Gallegos is only like 24. So, I mean, I think Gallegos is you know, one of these Mexican fighters who are going to emerge. You know, the same way Mauricio Laura did. Um, you know, a couple of other guys did. And he, he's got skills. He loves the bank. He's a good offensive fighter with a good chin. He's going to be an entertaining fighter at any level. Now it's just you know how, how good how good can he get? How much can his, can his skills progress? He's still very young, um, but it was a really really good card. And to me, this looks like the second coming of Showbox, which is great news for boxing fans. I mean, you, you didn't just get fighters; you got good fighters. Najee Lopez has blue chip prospect type skills, like really high level, elite level skills. Like this is a guy you want to keep your eye on. And I, I think Van Sicklin is, is a really good fighter too. You know, I'm not saying that he's going to be a world champion, but Najee Lopez at least has the talent. Now we're not going to know much more about Najee Lopez until he steps up and he's in a dog fight. And we see, you know, if he has that dog in him. And then they'll slant, uh, they'll saint too. high level, good fighter guy with a future, you know, seven fights in now looks really good for seven pro fights. Uh, but, I mean, this is an eye-opening card. Like, if this is what they're going to give us, guys, please check. If you're a hardcore, you need to be watching this Pro Box. Uh, let me know what you guys think and how did you score the uh, the final, uh, the Gallegos and Van Sicklin fight. Uh, I had it for Van Sicklin ever so close. Uh, please leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Kids comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it is February 22nd from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.